The firefighters we spoke with are fed up. The residents, understandably, are concerned, and they all want the city of Compton to focus on the fire department, make it a priority. On Tuesdays, concerned Compton residents stand outside City Hall to deliver a message. Woo! Support your firefighters! For months now, they've been asking the City Council to fund and support its local fire department, which is dealing with a staffing crisis, aging equipment, and buildings that are in need of repair. They have come to City Council multiple times about how bad it is, how they have mold, how they have... Um, roofs that are uh, caving in and leaking um, and also like them working um, without a contract for five years. They're constantly just being forced to work egregious amounts of overtime because the department is so so understaffed. Um, that ultimately will affect the citizens, the response times, responding to emergencies. If there's an emergency in here, you know, in I mean, several emergencies, how can they go to all the emergencies if, if there's not enough firefighters in Compton? Because as of now, there's not enough firefighters here. The residents and the Compton firefighters go to the weekly council meetings to express their concern. Please release more funding for the Compton Fire Department before an avoidable disaster strikes. My personal opinion, I feel that the city council doesn't value public safety. These two men are Compton firefighters. They say the department is losing personnel because the city isn't paying well. As far as... Uh, our uh, pay goes, we're about 30% like below the average. You know, everybody wants to have a very safe and happy and healthy fire department. Uh, it makes no sense to not help the very people that are saving everyone else's lives here. Compton City Councilman Andre Spicer, who represents District 2, issued the following statement. We are working through issues that predate four of the five city council. This council has been in full support of our fire department based on our voting record. We have purchased five fire trucks and engines, fire apparatus, equipment, and more. I hope that we can come to a resolution sooner than later as it relates to their contracts. Five years out of contract is unacceptable. Now, Councilman Spicer says all of that new equipment, unfortunately, will not be arriving until closer to the end of the year, perhaps in November. Alex, Marla, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Gina Silva reporting for us tonight. Gina, thank you.